afternoon, I should say, we headed outside to begin working on our fall garden a little bit. I'm super excited, but first we've got to do a little bit of maintenance. So first thing that we did was we actually moved my garden bed, my tomato plant and herbs over here towards the end. I didn't want it here originally, but I think that part of the reason that I wasn't having a lot of success in my garden bed was it wasn't getting enough sun. So over there, it's already in the shade. It starts uh, getting shade at around noon. So I think that these just weren't getting enough sun because obviously all of my flowers and everything else over here that is on this side gets plenty and really thrives. So we went ahead and moved that and let me go ahead and share the other projects we're going to be working on. So over here in our new flower bed, a couple weeks ago I planted a ton of sunflower seeds and you can see that we definitely have a few sprouts here and there but definitely not as many as I actually planted. So I think I want to go ahead and plant some more seeds. I just have to see if we make it to the garden center today to pick up some more sunflower seeds because I just want an entire bed. And then over here is where our garden bed used to be. Obviously, I'm going to clean this up and we're going to move our table and chairs over by the window to make room for our little garden bench, which I'm going to attempt to put together all by myself. We'll see how that goes. But once it's all set up, that's going to go there. And I'm super excited to see it all finished. Again, we're gonna see if I can do it by myself or if we have to ask for help, we'll see. But let's go ahead and get started on all of this. What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. will sing about your heart Maybe the trees will whisper the word Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope We are out and about today. We're running errands. I have a whole list of places that we need to stop by and of course a list of things that we need to pick up. We're also still working on our garden project and outside and all of that. So we're going to go to the garden center probably as our last stop and I have a list of things there. We need some flowers, some seeds, some fertilizer, all that fun stuff. And then when we get home, we're going to work in our garden. Shadows of this quiet town. I see you there, your feathers on the ground. Your eyes are heavy with the weight of the world. What's in the life you never could have Even if you never flown before. Can take a chance and try once more. Don't let your worries weigh you down, down, down. You can still take five, although you're earthbound. So 
we are back home and I want to start off by saying if you watched my autumn shop and decorate with me, you'll know that I was super proud of myself that I only picked up a couple items. But today we went to Hobby Lobby and I don't know what came over my body, but I don't know what to say other than here we are. We've done what we've done and I'm going to show you what I got. So I will say too, when we, after I decorated, I did feel like something was kind of missing. Like I felt like it was missing warmth, if that makes sense. So I knew I wanted to pick up some more candles. I got some more like cute little string lights, but I just felt like it needed a, a little extra something. And then you know at Hobby Lobby, everything is 50% off. So you're just like, oh, $8? No, it's actually four. And then you just keep adding to your cart and that's how they get you. But anyway, first thing I got are these beautiful taper candles. I have tried to make taper candles like this with the dried florals in it myself as a DIY, and I cannot for the life of me get it to work. So I saw these and I thought they're already done and they're so beautiful. And so then I bought two because next, this I think is, this is just a terracotta pot that I needed for outside. That's not very exciting. <laughs> Next is I did notice when we finished decorating that I did not have an autumn spoon rest. I know, right? Like that's an emergency, but I saw this one. It was only $2 and it's, it's adorable. It's a little mushroom. I cannot get enough of mushrooms. I just thought that was so cute. And next, something that I thought would add some cute little warmth to the space was this little house. I thought this was adorable. I have some that are similar like this um, in my winter decor, but they're like a snowy white. And I really liked that this one had a little copper top. So I thought that was very cute. This adorable little hand towel, which we didn't have as many um, autumn hand towels as I thought we did when I pulled them out of storage. So one extra wouldn't hurt. Then I picked up some yarn. This is for a project, a DIY project that's kind of a surprise that I'm going to attempt to make in a future vlog. So stick around if you want to see what I want to do with the yarn. And then this is kind of random. I got this because it was $1.50, one. And two, tonight is actually the first official start of NFL football, which is a big deal to Colby. And this just happens to land on date night. So I'm going to surprise him by watching football with him tonight and I decided I was gonna make us like a bunch of snacks. I'm gonna make like chips and dip and like, potato skins and all that which I picked up on my way home from work tonight. So I just thought this was a cute little tray for that. And lastly, I just got one more fall candle. This one was special. You know when you smell a candle and you're just like, that's the one. This is like a mix between pumpkin spice and like a cozy sweater that you just like pulled out of the closet. It's just, it's, it's perfect autumn warmth and I just had to have it. And that's it. It's actually, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Anywho, that's everything that I picked up. And now we're gonna head outside and garden for a little bit. Hopefully the days are definitely getting shorter. I'm used to when I get home from work having like two solid hours of daylight still, but the sun is already going down, but we're just gonna work with what we have because I had scheduled to do it tonight. So we'll head out and see if we can get done. We got time on our side We're in a state of hope I need you on my fire I want you to know That every time you're away I long for you so We're gonna do some work in the garden bed Which is a very, very sad little garden bed right now But we're gonna see what we can do to help it out So there's nothing over here right now We have some little tomato sprouts here nothing here and then these are my sad little bell pepper plants i don't know what to do about this one this one might be a goner i'm gonna leave it for now though and then this one just yesterday i noticed had so many ants crawling all over it so i googled that today and did some research and it said that it could have i don't know if i'm saying this right but afib uh, that totally saying that wrong but it's a type of bug and at first i didn't think that it had it but upon closer examination they are in fact all over the leaves and apparently they make a sweet substance um that is like honeysuckle or something and then the ants like it so i looked at the fix and that is to actually spray it down with um soap and water like dish soap and water so i'm gonna try that and i also read that, where is it, I think it's over there, that ants don't like um, cayenne pepper. So I might try sprinkling that around it as well. 
but we're gonna attempt to save this plant. It did produce a couple peppers. This one I'm not so sure about, but we're gonna try and save this one. And then at the garden center today, I picked up some sugar snap peas. This is so adorable. I'm really excited to plant these. One thing I did not check is if uh, they like to grow in the same container as peppers. So we're gonna look that up before we plant them. If not, I'll put them in pots, but I just thought these were super cute and I'm really excited to plant them. Okay, so on this side of the bed, we planted some carrots and spinach. We've got our tomatoes going here. I did put one extra seed here because I had originally done four and that seed never sprouted. So we tried again with one more over here. And then my pepper plant over here, we decided it was time for it to go. I realized that what was happening with this plant probably already got to that one and that's why it was so short there were no leaves and I looked it up and apparently there is like basically no hope for a plant that's that far gone but we did plant one little pepper seed in its place in its honor so we'll see if we can save this one our sugar snap peas are in here and I looked it up and apparently all of this is good to go to be planted together so I'm still learning about all of this but I'm having a really good time doing it and hopefully that we have a productive season. Also update over here it's almost time to refill the hummingbird feeder they have just been going crazy with those. Our zinnias I fear are on their way out for the season they're kind of falling over um, that one fell over and died already so we're gonna cut some more, cut some, another bouquet as much as we can. Also, look at this beautiful flower down in here. I just love it. I don't even know where he came from, but I absolutely love him. And then this bed is super dry. I'm just about to water. But look at all our little sunflower seeds popping up. Super exciting. <laughs> outfit I've been living in this Luke's Diners t-shirt recently and then this yarn in my hair I actually got this idea from Allison Bickerstaff I'll link her channel down below I thought it was so super cute this isn't the only reason I got the yarn but it was definitely one of them I need to make them longer next time but such a cute little hair ideal for fall <laughs>
working out here, we added some little additions and we finished up for now decorating our garden bench. I'm so excited with how this turned out. I think it is gonna be so, so useful for gardening. I'm really excited. I'm sure we'll add like little touches here and there later. Like I said, I wanna add some hooks over here so I can hang some things on it and we'll add little additions here and there, I'm sure. But for now, I'm super excited with how it turned out. And last I checked on Amazon, it was still on sale. So I'll link it down below in case you're interested in purchasing one as well. But I think I'm gonna end the vlog here for now. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for hanging out with me. It would mean so much if you could subscribe to my channel. We have lots more fall vlogs and we have much more to do with updating our outdoor space and making that functional and beautiful for the fall season. So I hope that you have a wonderful week and until next time I'll see you in my next video. Bye!